A second Tennessee lawmaker is back on the job. This after being ousted over an anti-gun protest inside of the state capitol. The Shelby County Commission voted unanimously to reinstate Justin Pearson. NBC's Drew Petromo reports from Washington. Hundreds of supporters marching through the streets of Memphis and then celebrating when the Shelby County Commission voted to reinstate State Representative Justin Pearson. They tried to kill democracy. They tried to expel the people's choice and the people's vote. And they awakened a sleeping giant. Pearson, one of two black Democratic state representatives, expelled from the Republican-controlled legislature last week after they led a raucous protest inside the state capitol calling for stricter gun laws. The protest followed a deadly attack at a Nashville school that killed three children and three adults. We know it's preventable because there are good laws that exist. We know it's preventable because there are organizations advocating for the change of the law in order to save people's lives. Nothing is more important than the safety of Tennesseans and certainly the safety of Tennessee children. Tennessee's Republican Governor Bill Lee now pushing some gun control measures, signing an executive order strengthening background checks. We should work to set aside our differences and accomplish something that Tennesseans want us to get accomplished. As Tennessee struggles to chart a path forward, its neighbor to the north dealing with another deadly shooting. Yes, Louisville, Kentucky, we have an active shooter. A gunman killing five people during a rampage at a Louisville bank, leading to familiar calls for change in the wake of a mass shooting. Pearson will be sworn in today, just one week after his ouster. Pearson and Justin Jones, the other expelled lawmakers, are essentially now fill-ins for their own seats until special elections can be held. Both Pearson and Jones say they do plan to run again. Drew Petromo, NBC News, Washington. All right, Drew, thank you.